Okay, welcome back. I've now done strafe left 90 degrees and strafe left 45 degrees. And I'm just going to play these two animations for you so you, you can compare them with whatever you have. So this is looking from the front and this is the strafing left 90 degrees. And he's pointing 20 degrees forward, but still walking along that line here. So I might have done, overdone the rotation of the feet, but I'm not going to bother by changing that right now. So the strafe left 45 degrees looks like this. Also looking from the front like this. And these are the animations that I exported. So if we switch over to Unreal Engine and then import these animations that we have now, um, I'm going to import the left and the right. And we have the walk animation already. So I'm going to open and select the SK mannequin and import all. So with all these animations here, we're going to um, create a blend space. So animation and create a blend space. And select the SK mannequin. And let's call this BS uh, locomotion. So for the X axis, which is down here, uh, we're going to call this the right. And this one we're going to call the forward. And I'm going to set the range of these to minus 100 to 100 each. And we're going to set the middle point to be the idle and the directive middle front to be the walk. And then we're going to take the right 90 degrees. Um, I think I'm going to place it to the right. But I seem to remember I put it to the left. I ended up doing that for some reason. Uh, so in case I'm doing this wrong right now, it's just a matter of switching it afterwards. But I'm going to put it here anyway, because this is the right. So the right uh, 45 degrees is going to be up here, and the left is going to be on the opposite side, and the left 45 is going to be here. So it's going to give us a blend space looking like this. It's just going to be giving us this hopefully pretty fluid transition between strafing and walking forward and so on. So what we need now is to create the backwards uh, animations here. We don't have them right now, but uh, we can create them pretty easily. Um, now that's going to be a little um, change to just a regular workflow that we did before, where we just took the walk forward animation and then created a new take. And the reason for that is found if we take a look at how the blend is going to happen when we go from forward to the walking or strafing to each side. And I'm going to demonstrate this. It's going to be clear in a moment. So if we were to just take this walk forward animation and create a new take for this and say copy. What we want to do is to with this is to reverse this animation and we can do that in a number of ways but uh, the easiest way I can think of right now is just to use the story mode. So i um, just going to delete whatever I have in here and just clear everything so I can show what I'm doing. So I have a new take here and I'm not going to bother uh, changing the name right now just, just going to demonstrate something. <laughs> Um, so right click in here and create a character animation track, select your UE4 mannequin character and then insert this current take. So double click the take or the clip here and then switch to your properties. So in properties you have the time warp. Uh, if you can't find it, you may have to scroll up and down here a bit. But uh, usually if you just double click it like I did, you will find this reverse. So if you click that and then you will have uh, if you have your story active and you have the backwards animation and obviously it doesn't look correct that's not probably how the way you would walk backwards but it's going to work for this uh, scenario here um, so what you want to do in order to get this out of uh, motion builder and into unreal engine is to 
uh, right click and plot this whole scene to the current take and then switch to your navigator and find your uh, character UE4 mannequin character and then plot this to your skeleton like this and if you play this now you're going to see that it's uh, playing backwards also if you turn off the story you're going to be sure that this is the animation that is playing uh, so you, if you export this now motion file export as we've done several times now and let's call this instead of third person walk I'm going to call this walk walk backwards and actually I want to select my root and select branches and then motion file export and remember select selected mod models only and take 0 2 so if we now import this into Unreal Engine and then add this animation to our blend space like this then it's going to look correct if we are going from idle to walk backwards so immediately if looking at this it looks correct but if we move the cursor a little bit to one of the sides we're going to see he's going to make this jump step thing r looking really weird and that's the same on the other side so it's going to look really weird in the in the middle transition here somewhere and that is what we want to uh, avoid so the reason why he's doing that is because he is on the wrong foot so when we are moving forward, he's starting on his, I um, can't really remember what foot he started on. Uh, he is starting on uh, right passing. So he's starting to move forward with his right foot. And when he's moving backwards on take two, he's starting to move, move backwards also on the right foot. But in order to make this look correct, he needs to start walking backwards on the left foot so we need to kind of change the animation so that he's yeah he's starting on on the other foot uh, and that's what I'm going to show in this video here how we're going to do so sorry it took a little while to get to this but um, I thought it was kind of necessary to just cover so I'm not just doing it um, so right now um, we switch the order so that he's now or the direction of the animation so he's now walking backwards on take zero zero two and what we're going to do now is to make sure that he starts on the right foot so we're going to turn on the story again and we're going to turn on the control rig also and then we're going to switch to the story once more uh, so right now we have this animation here and if we double click this take and scroll down a little bit we should be able to find um, the reverse here so if we uncheck that he's walking forward again and now he's walking backwards so since we're gonna um, we we have a an, an animation right now on the storyboard that walks forward but with the reverse active but on the control rig since we plotted this as we just did before uh, we plotted this with the reverse active that means that we need to get this back again before we start working continue working with this so I'm just going to delete this clip here by clicking delete on your keyboard and then insert the current take okay so with this he's still going to be walking forward or backwards sorry uh, even though if we scroll down now we can see that the reverse is not checked I hope that made sense so what we want to do now is to find that place in the animation where he's starting or is the in in the left passing backwards <clears throat> which seems to be 
it would probably make sense to be at 15, but it looks more or less like it's frame 14. So I'm going to select that and frame 14 and click the razor button. So I'm splitting this up in two and then I'm going to move the first part to the end and then the last part to the beginning and then realign it. So now that when we play this again, all the way from the beginning, we can see that he's starting to move back on his left foot. So it's still the same animation, but now we're all starting on the other foot. So now we can right click and plot the whole scene to the current take as we did before. Uh, we want to switch to our character and then plot this to our skeleton. Turn off the story and just verify that we have the correct animation. So he's starting on the left foot, walking backwards. At this point, I want to actually rename this because it, it ended up being this take that I wanted to work on. So I'm going to rename this to walk backwards. Uh, and then we're going to export this. So select your root, select ranges and motion file export and call this, just overwrite this walk backwards. And then select this one, export. So we now re-import this. Yeah, oops. And check our blend space again. Now we can see the transition from idle to walk backwards still looks good. But when we move to the side, it looks a little bit different still looks a little bit odd and that is where the other part about the it looks like he's skipping or something it looks really weird if you ask me but nevertheless it looks better um, there's going to be a little addition to this as i mentioned so before i continue uh in this video um i just want to mention that we just missed two animations here, the 45 back, uh, before we can start looking at that issue that uh, we, I mentioned in the 11th part, I think, um, <clears throat> about the strafing right and the strafing right backwards issue. So stay tuned for the next, and I'm just going to show how we create the one of the uh, back 45 degree animations so until then bye bye